Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Drop List, where we cover all the items that are releasing in various different weeks for different seasons for different brands. <laughs> it does get a little bit confusing there. Uh, what we're going to be covering today is we're going to be covering the Drop List, so everything that is releasing in week four of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. Now, just before we start doing that, I've actually got a couple announcements to make. So, uh, just quite quickly, um, my work schedule, um, I work basically full-time hours. I work from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Now, the palace drop is at 8 p.m., which means I have to have this video done before I head to work. So, it's currently 8 a.m., so you've always woken up really early. <laughs> <laughs> to get this video out and done there so hopefully i can get this done for you guys before i head to work so you guys can have the drop list there secondly you guys may notice that i look a little bit different on camera well that's because the money that youtube pays me every month which is around 60 to if it's a good month 70 dollars i know it doesn't sound like a lot it's not a lot but i'm not complaining because like it's a bit of money. <laughs> so uh, I, I saved it up over a couple months. It's It actually took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but that's just because it was uh, quite a little bit of money. And I saved it up to buy a new camera, which is the camera that we're currently using now for this first video. Uh, the old camera that I had was just a really, really shoddy webcam. It was old, it didn't focus correctly, the colors looked a little bit whack. I'm hoping this one looks a little bit better. I noticed the colors are a little bit not how I like them. They might look a little bit realistic. It's It focuses a lot better. I look a lot better in it. So I hope the camera quality improved and you guys enjoy that. But uh, I just thought I'd announce that if you guys don't notice it straight away. We have a new camera. Uh, we have, and I also bought a new microphone cable as well. So new upgrades for the YouTube channel. I just thought I'd announce that. So your guys continuous support you watching the videos, you telling your mates to subscribe has given me more revenue to allow me to buy better stuff for the channel. So I just thought I'd announce that just to know where your, your hard-earned viewing and watching is going. You know, we, we bought that stuff, so I hope you guys enjoy that. But that's enough of the announcements there. Uh, we'll head on over now and start talking about the uh, fourth week of Palace's uh, Autumn 2020 collection. So yes, guys, I've uh, woken up nice and early to cover it. Um, what has happened is, is that most of the sources that cover the weeks haven't reported. They haven't said what is releasing. The only one that has reported to say what is releasing is Hypebeast. Hypebeast is usually the first uh, news source that reports on what's releasing in uh, Palace's upcoming week. So what I have done is I have gone to the Hypebeast article. I have written down every single piece that is releasing this week. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the corresponding page in Palace's range, uh, like seasonal range page where you can look at everything that's releasing in that season. And I'll be finding the items that I, you know, wrote down from the Hypebeast article. And that's how we're going to cover them there. I think that's just the best way because in the past, Hypebeast sometimes misses out on some colors of some of, of some of the pieces that are releasing. So I've just grabbed the names of all the items and then we'll use the official Palace range page to cover everything that is releasing this week. Now, if you guys want me to keep doing drop list videos, keep covering Palace's upcoming releases, everything like that, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit our final milestone of the month of 2,600 subscribers. We are literally less than five off. I know every single time I say that, like two people unsubscribe, but we are less than five subs off, guys. Tell your mates, tell your grandma, tell your mum. Five subscribers, guys, 2,600. We're so close. Hopefully, with your support, we can hit that milestone before the end of August. But let's move on. Uh, let's head on over to the Palace range page and we'll head on over and have a look at our first item that is releasing, which is the Pals Crew Neck. Okay, so here we are. Here is the Autumn range page. Range page. <laughs> this is what I was referring to. Uh, this is where we can view the whole collection of the Autumn 2020 collection. So the first item that we're going to be covering is going to be this crew neck sweater here, the Pals crew neck. Just quickly before we start, 
this week's items we are getting a reduced number so instead of around mid teens instead of around 15 items that are releasing from this season we're only getting around 11 or 12 but then we're also getting the piece uh the palace solomon collaboration you know the three like hiking trail shoes they're releasing this week so we've got a reduced amount of items this week because we're also getting a sneaker collaboration as well so just thought i'd put that out there just so you guys are informed about that that's why this week is a little, little bit smaller uh but let's dive in so let's dive into the first item that is releasing this week which is the pals through neck sweater so yes to start off week four of the autumn 2020 collection we have the pals crew neck sweater uh it comes in dark orange navy gray black and that's it that's the four colors so we have orange we have navy we have gray and we have black interesting that we didn't get a white colorway but that's totally fair we got four colorways there uh it says pals for ever uh, in kind of like the font style that Nike uses for its advertising campaigns. So that's quite interesting that they chose that font. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not the worst crewneck sweater in the world, but it's, it's nothing that really excites me. It's just something that's kind of wholesome. Pals forever. That's really about it. I wouldn't be looking to pick this one up, but if you just want like a fun little crewneck sweater, uh, in some nice colors, uh, Pals has got you sorted for the first item this week, and it is the Pals crewneck sweater that will satisfy that little itch for you there. So uh, that's the first item that's releasing, the Pals crewneck sweater. We'll move on now to the second item that is releasing, which is the Poor Don crewneck sweater. And at item number two, we have the Poor Don crewneck sweater. Uh, this seems to be a reoccurring theme in week four. It looks like we're getting all the Poor Don items uh, this week. And to start it off with, we get the crewneck sweater. So it comes in a green colorway, comes in a pink colorway, it comes in a blue colorway, and that's it. We've got three colorways. So we've got the green, we've got pink. Allegedly, it looks like a very soft pink in between these dark blue uh, lines here. And I'm reading it here. It says pink there. So don't be like, Daniel, you've gone colorblind. <laughs> it clearly says pink there. So allegedly, these lines in between the navy are going to be a very soft pink, which I honestly don't mind. Uh, and then we have the blue colorway here, which looks like it has white in between there. Uh, I actually quite like this crew neck sweater. Um, the colors are really nice on it. It reminds me of some very 90s styled stuff. I like striped stuff. Uh, not a lot of brands do a lot of striped stuff these days. My favorite colorway out of all three, I would almost say it's the green man. I would have loved the second colorway if it was white in between it, like dark navy and white. This would have been like the perfect piece for this week. But unfortunately, it looks like they've gone with a soft pink uh but that's okay yeah i would say that this is my favorite colorway just because i can see myself wearing something like this it's quite nice though so yeah that is item number two the poor don crew neck uh, i will move on now to item number three which is the palace skates dominates hoodie now at item number three we have an item that we saw in the lookbook it was one that i was actually quite excited by uh the color that we initially saw it in the lookbook wasn't the one that um really spoke to me and i was really really keen to see when it actually drops and what other colorways it comes in and it they've just looked like they've killed it it looks like it's you know an absolute knockout of the park man it's just it's awesome it, it's absolutely awesome so at item number three we have the palace skates dominates hoodie uh, it comes in cream with a really nice black and red contrasting. I think it's embroidered. Don't quote me on it, but I think it's embroidered uh, uh, text on the chest there. I love that. The color of the hoodie is really, really nice. Uh, that's the first colorway. Second colorway is this really nice burgundy color. Not enough brands in general, or at least male brands, do burgundy as a color. And I love that color, man. It's such a rich really nice color that when you wear with like black and like really dark colors just allows it to pop and yeah it's just sick it's just awesome man yeah so would love the first two colorways for this thing the navy is still solid uh the banana yellow this is the one we saw in the lookbook still really solid you know it's still a really nice piece the black's really nice they've got a really nice contrasting gray um branding on the chest there 
and then we go back to the cream. They've just really, really killed it with this piece this week. I would pick it up, but after I went for the Dead of Schutzer drop for the Robbery in the Rising Sun crew neck sweaters, I then went and bought an expensive crew neck sweater to make myself feel better. <laughs> and uh, now I've removed all my disposable income for this pay, so I cannot pick one of these up. Or at least I'm not allowing myself to pick one of these up. I would love to pick one up. If it's still sitting around by the time I hit my next pay, I mean... I might consider splashing some cash and buying another palace piece. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, it's sick piece. Definitely my favorite piece this week. Uh, but that is at item number three, the Palace Skates Dominate Hoodie. Uh, we'll move on to item number four now, which is the Palace Ard Quality Zip Up Hoodie. Now at item number four, as we said, we have the Ard Quality Zip Up up hoodie now i don't know if it's just because item number three was a really really good piece or if it's just because it's a zip up hoodie and i hate zip up hoodies but i really don't like this piece man <laughs> i hate to be like a really uh negative guy about it but zip up hoodies i just can't do and maybe it's just because as i said the third item was just amazing and i absolutely love it maybe that's why i'm really not feeling this piece but i feel like if this hoodie was just switched to a pullover hoodie it would just be a thousand times better. Um, they're only releasing it in three colors. They're releasing it in this brown and then a gray and then a black. There's not too much really going on. You know, it's kind of like, eh, all right, all right. But uh, yeah, that's item number four. Probably my least favorite hoodie that I've seen this season. Uh, we'll move on to item number five now, which is the Poor Don Polo shirt. So here we are, we have the Poor Don Polo shirt at item number five. Uh, as I said, the uh, Poor Don stuff seems to be the um, trend for this week, seems to be the you know big release this week. Uh, it's a multicolored polo shirt with um, Palace One on the chest and a One on the back. I mean, maybe this will appeal to some people. I'm not really feeling this polo at all. It's a little bit too crazy with the color. Its graphics are a bit weird. It just feels very off. It doesn't feel right. Um, yeah, definitely not my, one of my favorite pieces this week, but that's okay. Uh, I think the Poor Don uh, crew neck sweater was better, but we'll move on now to item number six, which is the parrot shirt. Now, <laughs> at item number six, you're probably like, Daniel, you said it was a parrot shirt. Where the hell is the goddamn parrot? Well, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Well, uh, item number six, the parrot, it's called the parrot shirt and not the plaid shirt because there's a small, small, you can just see it where my cursor is, a very small little parrot on the left breast there. Nothing on the back. Uh, it's literally just like a very, it's the parrot motif that we've seen time and time again but just done really, really small on the um, on the left breast there. It's just, I don't know why, I don't know why. I honestly thought there'd be a huge parrot graphic on the back, which would have been pretty cool. No, nah, they've just put a small one there. Uh, it comes in the navy colorway and it comes in the red colorway. That's it, it just comes in two colorways. I mean, it's not a horrible piece. It's just like because the graphic isn't huge and there isn't a, the graphic isn't really noticeable or makes it a really unique piece. It kind of just looks like a normal plaid shirt, and you kind of just like meh. I just walk down to an op shop and pick up a plaid shirt for like five bucks. You know, like you you don't have to buy this plaid parrot shirt. Uh, this yeah, this plaid parrot shirt. Uh, to you know get a parrot shirt you can get any plaid shirt and the the graphic on it doesn't differentiate itself enough for me to be like damn no i need this palace one this is a really unique plaid shirt it just kind of looks like every other one so not very exciting but it is releasing this week at item number six i uh, will move on now to the seventh item which is the bellman all over t-shirt okay now up next we have the bellman all over t-shirt um it's this, it's this classic American college style text over the chest here, done unusually quite small. Usually the text is a lot bigger if it's done in this American college style. And then there's this all over text that looks like, like a receipt or a, like a takeout menu here all over it. Uh, it's a very whack piece. It comes in these very whack colors as well. So it comes with a red with a contrasting blue uh, text there. 
It comes in a yellow with a pink text there. Although this yellow kind of looks like the yellow pages. Is it meant to be that? Is it meant to be like a phone book? Is that it? Is it meant to be a phone book? I honestly don't know. Uh, it comes in a white with palace on the chest there. I think this is probably the nicest colorway, the most palatable colorway. Uh, then it comes back to the red. Yeah, this is a very whack piece that's releasing this week. I definitely wouldn't be looking to pick this one up. Uh, we'll head on over though and have a look at item number eight, which is our first accessory. So yes, guys, according to Hypebeast, uh, this is item number eight that's releasing. It's the Ballistic Lumber Pack. Uh, quite interestingly though, this seems to have other corresponding items that go along with it as like a collection. So there's a matching backpack, there's a matching um, fanny pack and stuff like that. And according to Hypebeast, they're not releasing this week. Uh, I would just be a little bit skeptical if if they say that the, you know, the uh, lumber pack um, is coming out. I feel like the other corresponding ones that are from the same series will release as well, but you'll just have to look out and just see. Maybe that's why the drop list is a little bit smaller. It's because Hypebeast forgot to include the other ballistic um, items as well, but we'll have to see. So yeah, well, apparently we're getting the ballistic lumber pack. Uh, it's got a bunch of 3M de detailing on it. As you can see here, these light up these little uh, gray bits down here. Uh, it comes in various different colors. It comes in a black and also, oh my god, once it shows it, there we go. A desert or a gold color as well. Uh, lots of storage here. You've got an embroidered palace P on the side that you'll be wearing. It can fit multiple uh, beers here. You can see some palace brewskis there. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, it's it's not too exciting, but if you like these like te technical utilitarian um, packs and stuff like that, it's perfect for you. It's the perfect item for you. Uh, but that is item number eight that is releasing this week. So now we'll move on to uh, some of the headwear. We'll head on over and have a look at the Poor Don six panel. And here we are at item number nine, the Poor Don six panel. Uh, it comes in pink. It comes in navy. It comes in black. And it comes in pink. So it only comes in three colors. Uh, out of all the three, I think I'd probably go the second one, just because it's the most wearable. Uh, it has Palace 1 and then Poor Don underneath it. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not the most exciting six panel in the world, but it's not the worst six panel in the world. It's definitely not my favorite Poor Don item, but it's definitely better than the Polo, in my opinion. I think my favorite Poor Don item that released this week was number two's item, which was the Crinex sweater, the striped one. I think that was quite nice. I think that was quite a nice piece. I will move on to our second headwear piece though, which is the Palace Skates six panel. So yes guys, the Palace Skates Dominates uh, graphic comes back again, uh, this time on a six panel. So item number 10, we have the Palace Skates six panel with the um, you know Palace Skates Dominates graphic on the front there. Uh, it comes in a gray, it comes in a white, um, just noticed on the back there, it has a woman, uh, like a kappa woman, uh, a, a marijuana leaf, a devil, and I can't remember what that graphic was. What was that final one? Oh, a scorpion. Okay, and a scorpion there. Some very weird little embroidered graphics there. Uh, it comes in a navy. It comes in, oh, just the three colors there. So the gray, the white, and the navy. Interesting that the colors don't correlate with the hoodie, uh, but that's okay. That's okay, you know what? Sometimes it always doesn't allow you to go matchy-matchy, and that's all right. But yeah, at item number 10, we have the Palace Skates six panel here. Uh, uh, definitely my more preferred six panel over the uh, one that we just saw, which was the Poor Don six panel. But we'll move on over now to the next piece of headwear, which is the Twill Pal Cap. Okay, so at item number 12, we have the Twill Pal Hat. Sorry, I said it was the Twill Pal Hat, but I was incorrect. It's the Quill Pal hat. Uh, it comes in green. It comes in navy. It comes in uh, khaki with a little bit of green underneath the brim. It comes in black. And it comes in the green. So there you go. So it has four colorways it has green, navy, uh, khaki, and black from memory. Yep, khaki and black. 
yep awesome it has a leather strap for the back palace embroidered onto the back there and a little patch for the palace p there a very nice little basic piece if you just want like a nice little staple palace cap this is the one to go for this is definitely the one to go for a nice little piece there that rounds off our items that are releasing from the seasonal range guys but as i mentioned we do have a collaboration releasing this week we have the palace solomon uh x a comp releasing as well so we'll head on over now and we'll go cover the palace solomon uh collaboration that is also releasing this week so here we are guys, uh, this is it, this is the final item that is releasing this week, it is the Palace Solomon XA Comp, uh, this hiking shoe here, it comes in three colorways, you can either get it in the yellow, black and white, the white, silver and red, or the black and silver. Uh, it has 3M detailing here, that's why there's these photos here with blacked out backgrounds, so you can really see the 3M being accentuated here. It looks like this ribbed pattern here is 3M and the back detailing is 3M there. I mean, I'm not a fan of hiking shoes, uh, that's not really my thing. As you guys know, I'm more of a skate shoe kind of guy, more of a casual shoe kind of guy. So this, this type of shoe doesn't appeal to me, but I know a lot of people really love their hiking wear. I know that Palace releases a lot of Anrax and a lot of hiking wear um, styled clothing. So I can see this appealing to a lot of people here. Um, but for a lot of other people, this just isn't it for them. I want to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on the Solomon Palace collaboration that's releasing this week. Maybe you're not feeling it, maybe you are, but... I mean, for me, I'm going to leave it as a miss. I mean, not that they're going to make these in a size 16 or anything like that, a 16 or 17. So I don't have to worry about it even if I did want it. But I just thought I'd mention it because it is dropping this week, guys. But uh, that is it. That is everything that is dropping in week four of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. Uh, I'm glad that we covered it. Uh, hopefully I can edit and upload this video before uh, I have to head to work, guys. Uh, all in all, this week it featured a lot of uh, sweaters and uh, hoodies, which I was really, really keen on. My favorite items this week was probably the, uh, what was it, the, in the first three items. It was the Poor Don Crew Neck and the Palace Skates Dominates Hoodie. That is probably my favorite piece this week. Uh, I want to hear from you guys down in that comment section below, though. What's your favorite piece? Are you going to be picking up anything from this week? And uh, do you want me to keep covering these weeks? Let me know all those things on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or if you can't be bothered going into the description section and clicking on those socials, scroll on down and let me know in that comment section below. But that's it guys, uh, that is week 4 of Palace's Autumn 2020 collection. We've covered all the official images, all the colours of everything releasing, and of course, all the items that are releasing there. It's a pretty solid week, a little bit of a smaller one than normal, but that's because the Palace Solomon collaboration is releasing in that week. Uh, I wasn't feeling the collaboration so much, Palace sneaker collaborations have never really been on point. Uh, this week had a lot of hoodies and crewnecks. You guys know now know which one of my favorites are. Want to hear what your favorites are in the comment section below. And how you feel about the week in general. You know, was this a good week to you? Was this not a good week to you? Are you looking forward to week five? You know, week two and three, I would say, were very much misses for me. But I would say week one and week four were pretty solid. So, you know, we had that drought of week two, week three. And I'm happy to see Palace return to form and release a nice little week four but I'll be looking forward to week five there. Let me know how you feel about week four in general down in that comment section below though. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace releases, upcoming, you know, Palace collaborations, or just, you know, um, you know, drop list videos in general of various brands and stuff like that, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel. And we are trying to aim for our final milestone this month of 2,600 subscribers. Hopefully, you know, it's, as I said, it's less than five subs, guys. You know, if two of you tell two of your mates to subscribe, we're almost there. You know, like we're so, so close. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before August ends. But that's everything, guys. Um, I've got to edit and upload this video before I do my eight hour shift at work, um, and then I can relax. I can't, it's the weekend. I'm just going to do more YouTube videos. <laughs> But you know what? That's okay. It's all part of the grind. It's all part of the fun. So that's all right. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching today, guys. Uh, until the next Palace video, until the next drop list video, until the next Palace collaboration video. I'll catch you later.